glad somebody's paying attention. Jeez. Poff Chardonnay. Uh, really. This is all, I think, personally, that this is barrel fermented. Do you know? Okay. Because the oak is such a feminine, subtle oak that it just reminds me of a barrel fermented wine. That's expensive to do, so I can't guarantee it. Definitely has some oak in it. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, but a, lot green has, apples. a lot of it has to do with the age of the oak barrel. I mean, if it's a new oak barrel, it's going to have a, a lot of effusive oak, and if it comes from, you know, the warmer regions where the wood comes from, then it's going to be um, more oak component because the, the, the grain's whiter, and so wine's going to have more contact. You want to keep some that's got lime? Definitely. Lime apples. Yeah, this is really... This is this is really nice. This is about as good as it can get, you know, of, a, of an oak chardonnay. Okay. Without being over oak. Without being over oak. And poff, just so you know, in, the, in old French, a lot of young French speaking people don't know what that means because it's an old word, but it means like, well, I've had different interpretations. It's so drunk that you're just out of your head, or you're just out of your head, period. <laughs> you know, either way, the uh, the end result is the same. <laughs> so it's still beautifully uh, balanced uh, oak. Yeah. Oak Chardonnay. Now, see, now what's interesting Calvary. about this wine is that I got more oak out of it the first time I smelled it than after it sat in the glass for a while. Because the oak was the first thing to hit you, and then little by little, the other things start to come up. You know, it's green apples. Definitely, definitely green apples. A little, little pear. guava, a little lime. Guava, yeah. God, 98. That's a great bottle. Yeah.